guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very special guest with me, Mary Dale. Hi! Thank you so much for being here today. And I know that you're a very busy lady with um, French um, organization and Japanese club. And I just wanted to ask you a couple more questions about how you learned three languages and mm -hmm. if you could tell them what they are. Yeah, so I am a native speaker in English um, and I'm fluent in French and I'm semi-fluent in Japanese. Okay, and was it hard to learn a language other than English? No, not really. Um, learning languages is my passion and I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, so honestly, it's how I spend time and how I have fun every day. It's just learning a new language. And um, knowing Japanese is an amazing skill, but what do you plan to do with that in the future? So I actually want to teach English in Japan after I graduate in 2020. Um, so what I really want to do is be able to go speak with the locals and live as I've lived it all my life. So I want to be able to speak Japanese, go shopping, things like that, and make friends. So Japanese will be a part of my daily life after I graduate. And what are you studying at UNC? Um, so I'm a French major and a Japanese major, and I'm getting my teaching certificate in education for French. Okay, and I know you mentioned that you were going to study abroad in Japan, which mm -hmm. is an amazing opportunity, and I want to yeah. congratulate you on Thank that. Thank you. Which you will be in, you will be going in spring 2019. Yes. So, um, what do you plan to do with that, or what do you think you will get out of that? So, aside from an amazing experience, um, I'm really looking forward to being more accustomed to the culture and the people while I'm there. Um, when I do go to Japan in 2020, I'm going to be basically just expected to adjust and start working. So being there for five months next year will really allow me to adjust already. So by the time I get there, it's like I'm just visiting home. Yeah, I'm sure it will just feel very <laughs> homey to you. Yeah. And what advice would you give to others that might want to learn a language or travel to the language that they're speaking? Uh, I would have to say find one that clicks with you. Not every language clicks for everyone, because I know for me, Spanish just doesn't work out. Uh, the phonetics are very weird to me. Uh, grammar is fine because of French, but other things are very odd. Um, but for me, like French, Japanese, and Korean, all of those have stuck pretty well. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy them. So I'd say find a language that works for you. And if you can, go to the country that speaks the language because it will help you improve so quickly. You'll learn about the culture, which really ties into every single language that you can learn. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again, Mary, thank for you. tuning in with you guys, and see you guys next time.